Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and before we get into today's video well I'm just going to remind you the three books that are on sale drink tea and read the paper if you're a green belt and a black belt and you want simple instruction on how to apply your skill design of experiments for 21st century engineers and finally a statistical process control for small batch production. They are all available from lulu.com and the links are in the video below. Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video newsletter, well, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a software tutorial, this time now using Minitab as our software of choice. Hope you enjoy it. Welcome to Complexity Made Simple and the latest uh, Minitab tutorial and what we're going to take a look at is a two sample hypothesis test something that I would definitely call a t-test. Now before we go to Minitab I just want to set the scene because this is really important if, if we're doing this in a in a Six Sigma environment. It's slightly different if you're doing this scientifically, you've done a scientific test or something like that. But typically, if we're doing Six Sigma, when am I going to use a hypothesis test? I'm going to use a hypothesis test when I've made a deliberate process change. A deliberate process change. And you don't want to be using this for any other reason, really. Um, in other words, in this case, look, some engineer has decided that maybe a low temperature might produce a different result to a high temperature. And the reason why we're, we're using the, the t-test, of course, is because here are the two samples. Here's the sample set from the high temperature. Here's the sample set from the low temperature. And there's two possibilities. Are we looking at noise? In other words, just two samples, but it's from one big distribution. Now, it is possible that that's the case. There is an awful lot of overlap here. You can see, look, lots of the data here overlaps in the middle. So it could be that these are just two samples from the same distribution. And therefore, any difference that we're seeing in the mean here is just luck. It's just noise. But of course, there's also the chance that it isn't luck. Maybe what we've done by changing the temperature, we've created two separate means, 4.6 and 5.8. And we've created a genuine shift in the process. And of course, here, what have we done? We've made a deliberate, a deliberate process change. And then the t-test is going to tell us whether the difference that we see is signal or look, just noise. And that's what the t-test does. Of course, the p-value what do we want the p-value to be that comes out of the test? We want it to be low because that is your chance of making a mistake if you conclude that the process has been shifted by your change. So the p-value is your chance of making a mistake if you conclude, if you conclude that the process has shifted. So we're going to do a t-test, we've made a deliberate process change, and we're trying to see if what we're looking at is signal or noise. So let's go to Minitab and let's look at this date, these data sets in a Minitab table and let's do a t-test. So here is the data. Here's the data look from the low temperature. Here is the data from the high temperature. So both our data sets are in separate columns. Then very simply, up to stat, basic statistics, 
and in the basic statistics menu we have the two sample t there it is the two sample t determine whether the mean differs significantly between the two samples click OK to that then it's got a little drop down menu it says well are the both samples in one column which is something Minitab wants normally but it also gives you the option to say each sample is in its own column and now I just need to tell it sample set one sample set two let's have a quick look at the options it says that I can assume equal variances well I'm not going to do that I'm going to assume that the variances are different and it will put that um, it'll put that into the calculation it then says what's the alternative hypothesis um, so you can go greater than you can go less than or you can go just not equals to now not equals to is recognized as the best test it's recognized as the strongest test so that's the one I'm going to do I'm not going to set up any pictures or graphs for this I just want a p-value and I'm going to collect connect okay let's take a look at this now if we scroll down it says what's the p-value 0.036 now that is going to beat my alpha value my alpha value that I'd like to beat I'd like to be below 05 let's just go back to the data set and the original hypothesis test so here we are the original hypothesis test the alpha value I wanted to beat 05 this is your chance of making a mistake if you conclude the new temperature makes a difference our p-value generated by Minitab was 036 it is below our alpha value and therefore we conclude the alternative hypothesis our temperature our new temperature made a significant difference to the result now of course one thing to take into account folks is also is this a practical difference because all this is doing is saying the maths can see two different groups of data it doesn't mean that this 1.2 shift whatever this happens to be let's say this is the hardness of the material it doesn't mean that a shift of 1.2 is any use to you so you have to get mathematical significance which which is what this number is you also have to get practical significance and that's a different judgment that's that's you judging whether a 1.2 shift is useful to you so that is the t-test the two sample t-test produced by Minitab. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial on that subject. If you've got any questions about Minitab that you want me to help you with, or indeed any questions about Six Sigma uh, at all, or indeed Lean, please drop me a message either in the comments below. Please subscribe also. Um, but you can also leave me an email if you send me an email on any question and you need a little bit of advice I'm more than happy to help you out and of course if you want me to come and help you inside your factory fix a technical problem please drop me a line I hope to hear from you soon